the Xbox One was made by jerks. Humanity's one absolute is mathematical logic, yet the Xbox naming system has zero logic. They went from Xbox to Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Are they counting backward? Did something happen to the other 359 Xboxes? What could possibly be next? They've backed themselves into a place where there's no logic even left to defy. And still, their current price point defies all logic. It's $100 more expensive than PlayStation, because each console includes a Kinect. <laughs> Kinect. The American people don't want to pay extra for a device that listens in on all their conversations. That's what the NSA is for. And the NSA is free. I understand the need for multiplayer games. I've played a little Maypole in my day. And I have to tell you, it offers something Call of Duty can't. Female players. Need a driving game like Forza 5? Try Hoopstick. It's more exciting. And if you think the war in Rise was unbelievable, why not try the Civil War? That war kept it real. Real young. You only needed to be 14 to play. What about the man originally responsible for the Xbox One, Don Matrick? He left Microsoft two months after the console was announced. Now he's running Zynga. Way to fail upwards, Donald. Can't wait to play Farmville 360 or Castleville 1. You, sir, are a butthole. If you like this show, please share it with your friends on Facebook, whatever that is, and please subscribe. Only a butthole would not subscribe. And watch another of my videos like this one on George Washington. It's an honest look at a man who chose to live his entire life wearing a ponytail and pirate sleeves. In most of the pictures I've seen, he's also wearing capris. It's ridiculous.